Okay, so we've just got back from a weekend in the Brecon Beacons. Um, buckle up for a bit of a rambling video, as most of it was shot whilst in the pub after the day's riding. Lovely weather offering up the best of Wales for a circular trip around the Brecon Beacons, including Abergavenny, Brecon and uh, a couple of places I can't pronounce. As usual, the chat starts probably after one too many in the pub. Three double leg of Rulins, <laughs> uh, a couple of pints, and uh, steak and ale pie. And you're doing well, Dave. You're looking well for it. I'm still uh, still going. The lag of burn. When my daughter got the what? Uh, well, yeah, lag of whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, so uh, our trip today then very good. The traffic was a bit bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Bloody nightmare the traffic. Oh, yeah. So um, you know those thousand pound panniers you got on your bike. It's a good job I left them off. Yeah, good job you didn't bring them, wasn't it? <laughs> well, actually, it's quite funny because they say that your handlebars, those yeah. waters, the panniers, but... Yeah. They are. Yeah. You don't like to travel. If your handlebars just, will go through, yeah. your panniers will. Yeah, well, that's what they say, but I've left them off and it's a good job I did. See, I'm a bit concerned now because I've packed really light. Yeah. Thinking, oh, that's right. Dave will bring the kitchen sink, he'll bring the yeah. air pump, he'll bring the tool, <laughs> the tool kit, he'll bring everything. Yeah. So it's a nice little pad we got here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's really good. So this is the um, Abercrave Inn in yeah. Aberdare, I think. The pub where the off-roaders come to. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely one of their stops. It's where I stayed when I did it. It's right. a bit like it's where Ewan McGregor stayed when he yeah. did it, and Charlie Borman stayed when he did it with him. You're talking about the BMW off-road skills course, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah. Just Done just around the corner. I should have hooked up enough cottage and got and done that myself. You still can, Dave. You know. well, I'm too old. Now. You're old, but you're not dead. <laughs> yeah. there, there were people older than you. In yeah. fairness, they were fitter than you as well, but they were older. Yeah. <laughs> we, have we got to stick to your plan, have we? <laughs> no, I thought I'd do a bit of off riding tomorrow. If I oh, you. yeah, great. I said to you, my uh, uh, wife, Lynn watch the, new, the video, the last video, and I survived. <laughs> you survived? <laughs> I'm not mean to you, by the way, and I don't know all this stuff about you being a mild-mannered gentleman, uh, because I don't know the real you. I remember you completely got your hair off just because you had rain coming in your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, about these sat now. Oh, Whatever happens, yeah, yeah. you've got to have a sat <laughs> How was your sat today? It worked well, actually, when it was working. <laughs> if you were following me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it? it didn't work for half the film. I thought if he turns off, I had to look the other day, uh, today, I thought, has he come up there? And he, oh, no, there he is. <laughs> I was trying to set it, so uh, I thought I've got to recalculate this and get, it to get us back on the route. <laughs> And he come up and says, you can't operate this while you're riding your bike. And I'll, oh, for Christ's sake, like, you know. That biker that pulled up beside us today was um, on a mission, wasn't he? Oh, God, yeah. He woke me up, I'll tell you. And yeah, bike... we'll have to take it easy tomorrow. I think uh, what we need to do is not stick to the guidelines. Right? Look for like the sat-nav. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't want to buy a sat-nav and then use it, would we? No, that'd be disgraceful. Yeah, we... it... If we do the route, we yeah. do the route. If we don't, we, it's not the end of the world, right? It might be if we take the wrong route. <laughs> we could do a bit of off-road. The other thing is as well, when are we going to put the deposit down on the 1300? For the benefit of my wife who might watch this, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we've got to get the 1300. Well, Why, how I... come your bike always goes faster in the 50 mile an hour limit? I uh, something to do with throttle, I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks like we've got a nice day's ride in ahead of us, Dave. Yeah, it's a lovely day, isn't it? I don't know what we've done to deserve this. How's, uh, the, how's your head this morning? Uh, not too bad. I took some tablets at about uh, five o'clock. <laughs> totally good. Right, we're ready to rock then. So if anybody is in any doubt as to why we came to the Brecon Beacons, here's 90 seconds of why.
Well, that was an incredible shame that Tour Tech was closed, wasn't it, Dave? Yes, yeah, we've had to, to race get, back. We've actually got back a little bit earlier than intended. It's been a good day today, hasn't it? Oh, brilliant. So, oh, this is... highlight, highlight of today? Oh, it's got to be the weather, isn't it, really? Good the weather, on the I, I thought the motorbiking was a bit better than the weather. The weather was uh, top notch, isn't it? You can't take it away from the weather. But, but you do like a bit of rain because riding in the wet's your favourite thing, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I like to test all the tyres out. I have all the roads are really good. They are uh, incredible, aren't they? The last half of today, coming over the top, we've... that was um, Black Mountain. Yeah, and that was really our, good. If anybody ever comes to Wales, they have yeah, to ride that road because it was Definitely. stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, the view from the top, yeah, you know, not that you yeah. saw anything. You're too busy eating your ice cream. <laughs> Decent, nice, safe overtakes, which is what yeah. I like. Um, yeah, we, we got a move on on the one part. We overtook quite well, didn't we? Yeah, and there's a little Ferrari and a little Porsche. Let's, let's just move on on that one, shall we? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that the weather makes everywhere look nice, but Wales is fantastic, and it? The scenery yeah, we've seen, which is stunning. Door dropping yeah. type stuff. I know, I know I'm, I'm, I am prone to take the mickey out of the Welsh on occasion, but it's. Um, it's a beautiful, oh, beautiful it's country. Brilliant. Brecon, it's right, isn't it? Yeah. Lunch, lunch in yeah. all, the way, all the way to the middle nice of Wales. And Actually, nice town. I can't even remember walking through the town before. Traditionally Welsh, when we were there, and it was yeah. a ham and cheese panini. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a is that diet. Welsh, is it, or what? No. I thought it no, was Custis. No, <laughs> no, it's Italian. <laughs> yeah, they always yeah. have them at Custer, don't they? Yeah, I know, but Custer didn't invent them. <laughs> Just, yeah. All right. Yeah. Tesco didn't invent peas either. <laughs> I wish I knew the names of the roads. The A something and the A, A other something. Yeah. Um, that'd be useful. Well, we're pretty good as tour guides, aren't we? Yeah. I was quite impressed actually, because you did about 15 miles on a B road yeah. and I didn't hear a single moan in my helmet. No, no, no. Interesting. No, the roads were quite open, weren't they? To, to be honest, I did try and get as much dual carriageway in as possible yeah, for you, because I didn't, want, yeah. I didn't want to stress you by having to. I can't understand why they put the, the, the bends in them dual carriage. In. Right. You know, let's take up far too much. It took us ten miles to get someplace, and it was in and out. And it could have been nine and a half. Yeah, They'd gone yeah, in a straight line. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would have been even easier if they hadn't got that hills up and down yeah, as well. That's it. Yeah, it's called an aeroplane, Dave. What did you think of your bike? Did you? Did you? Yeah, think brilliant. That you're still uh, yeah, pleased with no, the bike. Yeah, I'm, still, I'm still okay. It has its limitations on a trip like this mm. because I can't carry so much stuff. Mm. But to ride is. Fun. To be honest, it, I mean it's not as good as a GS, which is why yeah. it's ten grand cheaper. But the, the suspension is a bit yeah. prehistoric compared well, to it, yours. I got a surprise yesterday because fifth gear. Yeah, <laughs> since I hadn't used the bike so, so much, I went down to the garage, filled up my tank, and being a GS adventure, you know, yeah. forty quid's worth of fuel in it, like. And then when I come back, I put my, my tank bag on and my top box, and I thought, this is top heavy. This is now without the panniers, <laughs> I've been weight down the side. I couldn't. Get over it for a bit. Eh? Well, you need to um, have a few more pies to yeah. get the weight a bit lower down. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> it, keep, me, keep me weight down. I was, yeah. So we are in last proper stop of the trip. Yeah, this is the last stop before we make the jump. I reckon. To I'll, be, I'll be getting you back on the motorway as quick as I can now. The weather's been perfect, hasn't it? Everything's been really good. The, just coming from the hotel, we've been uh, the bed and breakfast like and uh, through the roads were fantastic wasn't so they? Where are we now? We're in, we're in Leominster now aren't we which is um, 80 miles from where we started yeah. I think we've only had three miles of boring roads in that whole time. Yeah that's it's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. And the views obviously anybody wanting to come down and do them roads that'd be really chuffed I think. Yeah I mean that stuff over the top of the Breckens was yeah, just fantastic. Brilliant roads. Yeah. Okay there was a few lambs here and there. Yeah. But, uh, we've had le very little traffic at all none at all really today is it Dom's? Oh, this is Dom's, Dom's yeah. cafe yeah. yeah just outside Leominster an, an absolute must for a biker that, um, I forgot I forgot where this was on the road actually yeah. I wasn't expecting it and I was, oh, there it was and I got a toilet for you Dave which is yes, good isn't it yes yeah. we just stopped for our last coffee then I think yeah and, and uh, granddad can have a wee wee and then yeah. off we go <laughs> that'd be good <laughs> wouldn't it